EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Miami Dolphins. And down it goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Shotgun now for Carr. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A, six a gain of six there on first. And four at the 20-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Working from the gun, it's Carr. They'll find his running back here, Richard. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's trying to give it to Rose, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Aaron Jones. saying but I'm gonna say it anyway that's a ball he would like to have back and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there he doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone and he got there in a hurry Jason, Jason Sanders, Sanders now for the extra point and that makes it seven nothing Dolphins is good makes the score Dolphins seven Raiders nothing So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Jalen Richard now on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. At their own 30-yard line. come up first and 10 right at the 30. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Throwing on second and three. Carr got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll get up near the 45 and spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you 
put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Carr's pass incomplete on the throwaway. Brings up third down and seven. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Carr. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first and 10, here's Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again. Carr, the open man here, Renfro. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Car to throw again. It's complete left side to Aguilar. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. They go with Jacobs. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the Dolphins' 12-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Dolphins seven, Raiders nothing. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Operating from the gun. Carr. This will be caught at about the six. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. First down, Raiders. Carr to Waller. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll run it with Jacobs. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. 
Second down and goal. Carr. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, Carr. And this is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders. Hunter Renfro there to make the grab. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. But really nice drive. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. Across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Miami set to take over. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Tua. And his throw's going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And nine yards to go. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And that was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And he'll go underneath here to Burrito. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Two are going to throw. And it's caught by Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two to Parker there for the Miami first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. 
First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The target there, Mac Hollins. And that'll bring up second down. Sometimes the visuals don't exactly work out the way you expect. They wanted to let him use his size there and float one up to him, but he wasn't able to get any separation. The DB was right on him and forced the incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Tua setting up shot to throw again. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 30. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. They're going to the air on the opening drive. Tua now on first down. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Check down to Breida. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Two and a throw again. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 13-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Max Crosby just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. This will be caught inside the 10. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Here's Tua. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 hour score. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 our score. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Here's Gaskin. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This is Gaskin on the carry, and he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. On play action, here's Tua. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stride. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Let's this go for Renfro downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for. And it's second down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. From midfield, here's Carr. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Throwing on first down is Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 18-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. A second and 11 from the 19. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. 11 yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. 
Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And it's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Derek Carr with a touchdown pass to Henry Ruggs. And the Raiders have taken the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height, or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. 14. An extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Being chased out left. He'll run it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Dolphins on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him two yards on that play. And the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. Miami. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll throw with Tugabailoa. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. From midfield, here's Tua. Throwing right, and that's complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On second down, Tua. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Matt Breed out of the backfield. And it takes us from second to third down. A lot of times.
sometimes it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Damon Arnett on the coverage. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. It's complete to Graham. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So, and it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Jason Bounced back, Sanders took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Jason Sanders. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to the same result that he opted for the touchback. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth, take some gambles. I, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. And first and 10 at the 11. They'll take over first and 10. 
at the 11 yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Another run with Gaskin. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. touchdown but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one They'll try to run this one in. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. the score the Dolphins 21, Raiders 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here comes Richard on the return. Jalen Richard. So Carr and the Raiders now. Down 21-14. A little over 30 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for, but it'll be second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. Got an open man, it's Ruggs. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. One final try now for Carr. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. <laughs> 